capable of treating all of these risk factors, and transcendental meditation is the only approach that has been shown to do so. In addition, of course, today we have what are called chronic illnesses. Chronic illnesses afflict over 100 million Americans. More than half of all Americans over the age of 40 suffer from some form of chronic disease. We've talked about diabetes, we've mentioned high blood pressure, but this chart also shows the effect of transcendental meditation on reducing arthritis and asthma, bronchitis, headache, and many other chronic illnesses. Chronic illnesses are diseases for which modern medicine offers no cure. And these affect as many as half of all people in the United States. Now, all of these people can find relief simply through transcendental meditation and the rejuvenative effects of the profound rest gained during transcendental meditation. Finally, in terms of health, it is very interesting to see that all of the effects of meditation on the human physiology, also on mental functioning, are the opposite of aging. For example, in this chart here, we see the reduction of blood pressure, the improvement of auditory threshold, the improvement in vision, the increased cardiovascular efficiency, the reduced susceptibility to stress, the improved learning ability, memory, creativity, intelligence, and so forth, from transcendental meditation are all in the opposite effect of the deleterious effect of aging. Therefore, Transcendental Meditation could aptly be called an anti-aging program. And interestingly, people who've been practicing Transcendental Meditation for five years or more have a biological age that is about 12 years younger than their chronological counterparts. So this is a very, very significant approach to increasing vitality, health, and longevity. But perhaps more important, at least to me as an educator, is the effect of Transcendental Meditation on brain development, on the development of our full mental potential. After all, the Transcendental Meditation program is a mental technique, and all of these profound health benefits are just physiological side effects of what is fundamentally a mental process. As we said, and as this chart reminds us, Transcendental Meditation is a systematic technique to experience the unified field in the most expanded, settled state of human consciousness. It's a fourth state of consciousness with its own physiological and psychological characteristics. We can look into the brain functioning through Transcendental Meditation by looking at this volunteer subject shown here in a red cap next to leading brain researcher Fred Travis, looking at the electrical activity of the brain during Transcendental Meditation through what is called the electroencephalogram. During an EEG scan or electroencephalogram, electrodes are placed upon the scalp to measure the firing of neurons in different portions of the brain. The frontal and occipital lobes of the brain, the temporal and parietal lobes of the brain, the whole brain is examined. And when the brain is examined in this way and the electrical impulses are measured, a chart such as the one shown here is produced with lots of squiggly lines scrolling across the page, simply measuring the firing of neurons, the electrical activity of the brain in different portions of the brain. The front of the brain shown at the top of the chart, the center of the brain shown in the center, the middle of the chart, and the back of the brain shown at the bottom of the chart. Well, computer analysis helps us make sense of these complicated EEGs, and when you look at the EEG of a meditator versus a non-meditator, you see a striking difference shown here. Here on the left, we see the brain of a non-meditator in normal, agitated, waking consciousness, both the top view of the brain shown at the top of the chart and the front view of the brain shown at the bottom of the chart. On the brain, we see electrodes placed shown as little circles, and connecting some of these electrodes are bars. These bars are important. They indicate some coordination or correlation between neighboring regions of the brain. They show in the electrical activity of the brain, the firing of neurons is, occurs synchronously in an integrated and harmonious way. But there's not much such coherence shown in ordinary waking consciousness. Instead, on the right, we see the same subject three months later during his practice of the Transcendental Meditation Program. 
And what we see is that the brain is now entirely coherent. It is a profoundly integrated brain where the electrical activity of the entire brain is found to be in concert where the left hemisphere of the brain and the right hemisphere of the brain and the total brain functions in a highly integrated and coordinated way during the meditation practice. Well, this is an educational breakthrough of the foremost magnitude because science shows that such orderly brain functioning, such global EEG coherence, is scientifically correlated with increasing creativity, increased intelligence, or IQ, improved memory or learning ability, increased moral reasoning, improved psychological stability and emotional maturity, enhanced alertness and reaction time. In other words, everything good about the brain depends on its orderly functioning. Now today, through Transcendental Meditation, we can directly increase the orderliness of brain functioning in children or adults of any age. And with it, we see increased IQ and creativity, the systematic development of our full human potential. For example, this next study is one of many performed on college students that shows that IQ or intelligence increases longitudinally year by year among college students who practice transcendental meditation. This is extraordinary because the previous view of human potential was that intelligence freezes at adolescence and doesn't increase in college students and certainly doesn't increase in adults, begins to decline in adults, in fact. But as a result of Transcendental Meditation, we see in this chart the systematic longitudinal development of intelligence in students and indeed adults of any age. So this is quite extraordinary, but today we understand that the brain is extremely malleable, 